Suns and Celtics going head to head here. We see the uh, Celtics at home laying five and a half. The total sits here at 229. Yeah, these two teams just played not too long ago, March 9th. The Celtics got their 10-point win in Phoenix. Porzingis was out that game, and he'll be out as well in this one. Jalen Brown is questionable. I think they're likely to sit him as well. That last game, uh, it was a good spot for the Celtics in a revenge spot. They had lost the last two games uh, in a row before that, so they needed a bounce back, and they were arrested. Now they'll be playing their third game in four nights, fourth game in six nights, and their first home game after five straight on the road. Boston also played their last game in the altitude in in um, Utah. The Suns will be motivated in a revenge spot. Josh Okoge will still be out. Eric Gordon's questionable, but I think they probably get Nasir Little back in this one, so it helps them a little with their depth. Um, the Celtics are just so good that they're still beating most teams, but they almost seem to be on cruise control at this point, just heading towards the playoffs. Nobody's going to catch them in the East, so they don't have any motivation to do anything but to just pick up a couple wins here and there and stay healthy. Um, I'm, leaning, I'm leaning heavily towards the Suns in this game. All right, Joseph Schultz, top unit producer at TonySpeed.com, past 14 and a half months. Suns and Celtics says the Suns here at plus the five and a half. Looking for uh, Joseph's premium place. Just get the link in the description and go ahead and get signed up. Let's continue here.